Okay, so today I want to show you how to um, use the optical loop to isolate the optical devices that failed. So this is called a female loop. So this is the iPod interface. It doesn't matter, this one has happened to be a, an aftermarket and this is the CD changer. So what happened is that this device is broken. So the optical is open. Okay, so when you remove this one, just like when a device is broken, it will try to access the whole circuit for maybe a few seconds. Now it's gone. So what we're going to do is that we don't know which device CD changer or the AMI. So what we're going to do is we use this and this is a female and this is a male. So we plug it in. Click it. Let's see if the loop works. So we turn it back on. If it works, so I'll just try to uh, initialize. There's nothing there, but everything else is working. So the CD should be working. All right, so this loop is working. So the iPod interface we don't use anymore, so we have to plug it. Okay, that's it. So I bought three of these. This one cost about three bucks on the uh, eBay. So with these three, I bought a whole bunch just in case we have to use maybe multiple devices that fail. We can just keep plugging one by one. Remember, if the optical is open, just like a device is broken, the MMI will be gone. So now it's going to try to detect, maybe 10 seconds maybe. And it couldn't see anything, it's an open circuit. Then it will turn itself off. There you go, it's gone. You have nothing. So it's a simple loop. You can buy it from the original, um, which costs more money, or you can you just use this one. And make sure it's a female, because all of the connector for all the devices are male. Okay.